All right, this question is on vectors, and basically the question is telling me that I have a parallelogram. Um, it's also telling me that O to P is equal to 2A and O to R is equal to 2B. So therefore, if I'm going from O to P, the vector is 2A, and if I'm going from O to R, the vector is 2B. It's also telling me that X is the midpoint of PR. So the line PR is here, and X is the midpoint, so it's right in the middle. And I need to find the vector PX. So I need to find the vector from P to X. And I need to write it in terms of A and B. All right, so let's get started. The first thing you need to realize is that PX, so the vector P to X, is equal to half of PR. So as you can see here, I've got PR, and X is in the middle because it says here on the question. So therefore, PX is half of PR. Now, if I can work out what PR is and then half it, then this will give me what PX is, and that's what I'm looking for. So that's the uh, what the question is asking me. So let's get started. PR can be written as uh, P to O and O to R. So if I'm going from P to R, I can take the vector P to O and O to R, or I can take the vector P to Q and Q to R. I'm going to go ahead and choose that one because I already have the vectors and it's just easier. All right, so I'm going to go from P to O and then I'm going to go from O to R. Now, if you look at the vector here, P to O is going to be minus 2A because O to P is plus 2A. If I'm going the opposite direction, it's obviously going to be minus 2A. So I'm going to come ahead and write minus 2A here. And if I'm traveling from O to R, the vector is 2B. So here, I've got plus 2B. As you can see here, on this expression, I have a common factor of 2. I've got 2 present here in front of the A, and a 2 present in front of the B. So I can just factorize this. You don't necessarily have to factorize, but I'm just doing that as a extra step. So I'm going to take the factor of 2 out. And then I'm going to ask myself, what can I multiply the 2 by to make it minus 2a again? So I'm obviously going to multiply this by minus a, because 2 times minus a gives me the minus 2a back. Plus, because I've got a plus here. And then 2 times what is equal to 2b? So here I'm going to write b. So this is what pr is equal to. Now, if you remember, we said at the beginning, I'm trying to work out what x is. And to find x, I need to half pr. So therefore, all I need to do now is half this answer here that I just worked out. So half of PR is going to be this number here, so 2 minus A plus B, and I'm going to divide this by 2 because I want to half it. And as you can see, I've got 2 at the top here of my fraction and a 2 at the bottom. So I can just cancel this out because 2 divided by 2 gives me 1. And I'm left with minus a plus b. So my answer is minus a plus b. You can write it uh, in another way by switching this around. So you can write it as b minus a if you like. It's basically the same thing. I've just written the b in front of the a. So I get b minus a. You can write it that way or that way. It doesn't really matter. It's still the same answer. And that's your solution to your question.